Hey guys, it's Backbase and welcome to this video. This time it's uh, my top 10 favorite uh, kingdoms in Super Mario Odyssey. And uh, so you know, uh, spoiler warning, there's gonna be uh, some kingdom spoilers. But uh, but no custom, custom uh, what do you say, cloth uh, spoilers or something like that. It's, it's just... Uh, Kingdom spoilers. So yeah, um, let's dive right in, into it. Luncheon Kingdom uh, is my tenth favorite uh, because of um, the, 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 um, the theme. It's so odd, it's pretty awesome, uh, <laughs> and the. Uh, the food is all oddly shaped <laughs> and it's pretty colorful as well but uh, it's far from my favorite uh, but yeah I had to have this on my list because it's so odd the snow kingdom is my ninth favorite because of the mostly because of the the race uh, I don't really know what the race is called but uh, <laughs> I would say a polar bear race <laughs> and uh, it's pretty awesome uh, it's uh, there's a bit of a challenge in this kingdom um, and, uh, it's fun but uh, I'm not so fun that it's higher on the list. So, the Sand Kingdom is my eighth uh, favorite because of it's so low because uh, it's so big uh, and uh, pretty empty. It feels uh, pointless it's for it to be so so big um, because you have to run around and um, find stuff. It's pretty annoying sometimes, but um, you have a jaxi, so uh, that's pretty fun, at least, to run around in the empty spaces. But there's much to find, and it's pretty hard to find everything without looking it up or get any hints or... Something like that. But uh, the story missions in this kingdom is very, very fun. Uh, I think it's the first boss you meet. Uh, no, it actually isn't. But one of the first bosses you meet. And it's really, really good, in my opinion. So the seventh uh, kingdom is Moon Kingdom. The only reason I have it on the list and uh, it's the seventh place, it's because of the, uh, the low gravity. Uh, it, it's fun, um, pretty annoying, but but fun. It's pretty uh, hard to get used to it when when you. Uh, jump around and have some fun in the kingdom and all of a sudden you you jump down a pipe and uh, it's the, the usual gravity uh, so it's you have to get used to it but uh, there's also a, a lava stage in, in, in this uh, kingdom uh, it acts like the, the final Bowser stage or something uh, and it, it, it's very very fun uh, not very challenging it's challenging but not that much not that hard uh, it's beatable but it's pretty easy if you if you uh, got this far in the game you can all the mechanics and uh, you know all the mechanics uh, and stuff and it's beautiful uh, when, when you look at the, um, the earth 
so beautiful. The sixth kingdom is Bowser's kingdom. And this is... Here's where the fun begins, in my opinion. Uh, this is the more uh, epic uh, kingdoms, in my opinion. It's uh, very original uh, because you you think this is um, the last kingdom, uh, and all of a sudden it's not. So you think this is the last kingdom, um, uh, and it's a Bowser kingdom. So it's odd not to be a lava kingdom, but it's very well done. Uh, and the pokey or whatever it's called, little bird how, who can. Um, uh, poke his beak <laughs> at the wall and um, use it to bounce upwards or on the wall. It's fun, it's a very fun mechanic. The fifth Kingdom is Seaside Kingdom, and this is most purely on the list because of it's so beautiful. It's really, really beautiful, and it's fun as well. But uh, I would say there's other kingdoms that's more fun that has been lower on the list. But this is this high because of it's very, very beautiful, and. Uh, it's it's fun to explore the water under the water as well because you have the sheep sheeps uh, that you can um, possess or capture so that's pretty fun and the, the boss in this kingdom is it's um, annoying but fun <laughs> Fourth kingdom is Cascade Kingdom. Uh, and this is the second kingdom you, you get to in the game. And uh, it's beautiful, it has an epic soundtrack, uh, and it's where you capture the T Rex for the first time. And it's awesome. Uh, it's so colorful and. Oh, I can't get enough of uh, playing this level, or this kingdom. Very, very fun. The third kingdom is the Metro Kingdom, and uh, I know a lot of people would um, place this at the, the, the top one uh, of all kingdoms in the game, but not me. Uh, I liked it, but not that much. It's a very odd uh, thing to do in a Mario game, to place him with uh, humans and, uh, and this uh, New York style of a level, um, and that's why it's not the, my favorite, um, because there's something odd about it, but it's an awesome kingdom, it's a fun kingdom, uh, there's a fun boss, and there's many many moons to collect, and it's all fun, except uh, the jumping rope, um, it can be very hard to get 100 jumps <laughs> but yeah uh, it, it's fun um, <laughs> for it to be a, a level or a kingdom that not suits the, the Mario uh, franchise
So, the second kingdom. I, I was very near to, to to have this at the top one as my favorite because purely because of the music. It's a so good song, uh, the best uh, soundtrack in the, in the whole game, in my opinion. It's so catchy. It's an awesome track. So, uh, but but the stage itself is uh, it's very very fun. N not the best. Uh, I don't like the, the the mechanical theme that much, but it's purely the music that is pumping this kingdom up for me uh, at the top two. And there's as well. Uh, you can say a, a hidden uh, passage or something like that uh, that I didn't found. I, I found it after I beat the game, uh, and I thought I was dead. But uh, <laughs> there's actually a robot uh, that hints that there are a place down uh, down there. It's the deep woods, and um, it can be very scary, <laughs> and it, it's very fun that. Uh, there's a place like that in this game, actually. So yeah, that's number two for me. And yeah, if it's not Metro uh, Kingdom, that's number one. It's the Mushroom Kingdom. Wow, just wow. That That's so much... Uh, nostalgia for me. You get back to the Mushroom Kingdom like in the Super Mario 64. Uh, that's what once one of the first games I played. So uh, it's very very awesome to see this as a completion uh, bonus of some sort. You, you unlock this kingdom when you beat the game and uh, I, I just dropped my jaw uh, almost. <laughs> It's very, very fun to be here. Uh, unfortunately, there's not that many moons, or I should say power stars, because in this kingdom it's stars. But it's... Uh, oh, yeah, like I said, unfortunately there's not much uh, moons or stars to get, but there's like an achievement uh, thingy in this achievement, uh, this kingdom. <laughs> Uh, so there's much to, there's many moons or stars, but not to explore. There's some star, uh, yeah, stars um, to find, but not, not that, that many. And you find Yoshi as well that you can capture. Uh, a little bit disappointed that you don't ride him, but. Uh, Yoshi as a bonus in the game is always welcome and awesome. So yeah, that's my um, top picks, top 10 for uh, the kingdoms in Super Mario Odyssey. I absolutely love, love this game um, and haven't completed it yet. I have got every power moon to get except by buying all of them, but uh, that's the only thing that I have left in the game and some uh, some uh, costumes to get so uh, yeah that's my top 10 hope you enjoyed <clears throat> have a nice one bye